Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to reverse the rotation of a standard car radiator fan. These are very handy for solar powered shed ventilation and a variety of other uses. And by default, most of them, at least the ones I've been buying, they tend to spin this way, so they spin clockwise. And you can see by the shape of the blade that they're optimized to spin in a certain direction. I find that most car radiator fans are set up to blow the air out of this side, so coming out this way, and that's how they come from the store. And you can see that they spin in a clockwise direction when viewed from the open side. So it's going this way. This type of fan cannot efficiently blow air if it's moving this way. This type of fan has a blade that is aerodynamically designed to spin only this direction. It's the most efficient if it's spinning clockwise as viewed from the back. You could theoretically make it go this way, but that's not going to be efficient. It was not designed. This was designed in a computer to spin only this way, and that's, that's just the way it has to be. So if you spin it this way, which is the default, what's going to happen is all the air is going to come out this side of the fan. So it's going to come out this way. Now, depending on how you install a fan like this, you might need it to blow air the other direction. How do you get that to happen? I'm going to show you how to do that. Without making this too complicated, basically this blade, in order to spin this way but blow air the other way, has to be flipped over. There's mechanically no other way to do it. So remember, the blade always has to move in this direction. First step is to remove the bolt, which is in the middle. You will see that right there in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Be extra careful when working on these fans. Make sure the power wires are disconnected. Treat them with a lot of care and respect. So I'm going to lift the blade up. It's got a mounting hub in the middle. And there's a piece of metal in there. Now I can't promise all fans are designed to be reversed, but this one definitely is. Now I'm going to turn it over like this. And I'm going to fit it on the center axle, and you have to line it up. This particular fan has a key in the middle, and you have to line it up and get it just right. Now this bolt should be put on fairly tight. I don't know what the torque specifications are, but if this blade ever came off while it was running, that would be a problem. So I'm putting it on there pretty tight. And you might have to use a ratchet set that fits this bolt here. Obviously you don't want to strip this out, but you don't want it coming loose. So I would recommend putting some Loctite on this blade once you uh, finalize your setup. Now this particular fan has a blue and a black wire. The way I usually run them is blue is positive and black is negative and that's the default configuration and that causes the air to come out the side that has the grill. So by default the air comes out this side toward the camera and this is the side that has the grill on it, the protective grill. However I've just flipped the blade over. So what that means is if I don't swap the positive and negative here the motor is going to rotate this way which is the wrong way. See, it's not going to reverse the motor, it's going to reverse only the blade if I flip it over. You can see the motor is always going to want to spin this direction unless I swap the wires. So in order to reverse this fan, not only do I have to flip the blade over, I also have to reverse positive and negative. That means the blade will then be spinning this way, which is the correct orientation. And you will see that due to the shape of the blade, it's going to blow the air this way towards the camera. So now the open side of the fan will start blowing the air. Now I don't have a solar panel here, but I have a battery, and I'm going to test the fan by hooking up positive and negative backwards. Now for safety, I have a resistor here. It's a power resistor, and it's only going to give this fan a couple of volts or something like that. It's very dangerous to hook a fan like this up to any kind of battery with no protection over here, but I'm, I'm going to do it for the video. If I did my job correctly, the air is going to come from this side. You can't really see it on the camera, of course, but there's a nice amount of air blowing straight at the camera. It's working very well. There's actually one more thing you should keep in mind. This is a brushed motor. So this fan, when you first buy it from the store, has carbon brushes in it. And when you first deploy the fan, you want to decide which way it's going to be turning. Because electrically it can turn this way or this way. Whether the blade is flipped or not, positive and negative determines which direction it will spin. Well, once this thing has been spinning in a particular direction, let's say for six months, the carbon brushes inside are going to be shaped in a certain way because of the way this fan was spinning. In other words, the motor is going to be broken in. That's one of the terms used to describe it. If you then later decide to spin it in the other direction for six months, it's very possible that the brushes in here would be damaged or even break. Now that's not necessarily a 100% thing, but it's certainly something that can happen. The brushes are inside the motor and you can't see them, but they are there. I have documented multiple solar-powered shed ventilation projects in a series of DIY videos. Please check out the description and end screen to see more. Thanks for watching.